Oh, good morning, everyone. I'm just crawling out of bed. I'll wake up to this BS from the community manager, Kevin. Oh, man, if you guys haven't seen this yet, uh, this is a very small post, but it has a lot of meaning behind it, guys. This is going to be a very short, unstructured video, but I'm going to give you my thoughts on some of the shady practices still going on behind Zoss. Even after the Starfield launch, you figured after they siphoned all the money from ESO and kind of funneled it over to, to Starfield, Todd Howard would be, would be appeased. Well, um, turns out he's not okay it's it, it's gotten worse well i still have your guys's attention no i have not forgot about the hot tub stream i'm just going to be honest with you guys the lady that was going to let me use her hot tub she's already packed it up she's going on vacation something of that nature so i'm probably going to put out a community post to where i'm either going to have some inflatable stuff in the background i'm going to play eso from the little inflatable pool or i actually do know a couple of people who have a very nice pool and I was going to go out there and kind of talk with you guys and do, you know, a little bit IRL because I do owe you guys on that promise uh, after months ago. I feel really bad about that. So, yeah, I feel like I come clean and address that at the beginning of the video just so everyone's aware that I'm going to hold myself accountable to that promise. It's going to happen. You get to see these scrawny, white, pasty arms in the, uh, in the real world. It'll be real fun. Let's take a look. Uh, I, had a, I got a hair in my mouth. Uh, let's, let's take a look at this uh, this community post by uh, by Kevin here. Okay, I got my tea bag counter up in the uh, the corner. Luckily, we only got three to the stream the other day. So, starting today, we are pausing in game gifting, guys. They stopped crown crate gifting months ago. There 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 is two reasons. Okay, number one. People are able to VPN and geotag into third world countries that have a severely reduced cost on the crown store. You know, for example, you pay $40 for, I think it's like 5,500 crowns, something of that nature, you know, after taxes. There's some countries you can like geolocate into and buy that exact same amount for like five bucks. So five bucks will get you like 5,500 crowns. You know, this is some third world act, some lot, something like that. Um, a lot of people were were abusing this, and they were just, you know kind of you know uh, uh, getting you know but behind behind the scenes you know some some shady. So es essentially, people were stealing from from Zoss, and uh, they wasn't happy about it. So they completely disabled. It was a quote unquote bug, quote unquote bug, that you could not gift Crown Grace, and they eventually came out and said, yeah, we we disabled them for nefarious purposes without elaborating on that. Now. While that may be a strong point, I do believe that they are cutting back on RMT, you know, real money transactions. You guys know as well as I do, if you've played ESO for any amount of time whatsoever, there are some gold selling websites and you can buy gold pennies to the dollar. You can literally buy like 10 million gold for like five bucks I mean, if you want to. It's probably cheaper than that now, uh, depending on what third party site you go through. And you go to the in-game in on PC, NA, the gold exchange rate is like, uh, for crowns, is like 1,100 to 1 crown, something like that. So, effectively, you can buy your 15 crown crates, and instead of dropping $40, you can drop like $12 or uh, something to that extent to buy the exact same amount if you just go through RMTing and trading gold for crowns. So apparently they are not only putting a stop to the crown crate gifting they're putting a stop to all gifting to further to further stop that from happening they they're super tired of people using workarounds for the system um you can chalk this up to hey you know they're just dev do doing their job you know it's illegal to be doing this in some countries very few people are doing this by the way uh, RMT, there's a lot of people, but uh, very few people are actually geotagging into other countries, buying crowns, and I mean, uh, I'm sure it's a thing, but it can't be costing them that much, right? But no, this this is nipping it all in the butt. I will. Th th that was just the first six words, okay? So uh, uh, let me finish this out. For the foreseeable future, this means, okay, so apparently, so there was a, a case, some some legalities that th they can't discuss anything with with this geotag issue and you know whatever. They've not elaborated on. They've not communicated to us whatsoever. So essentially, what this is saying is, for the foreseeable future, due to an ongoing fraudulent behavior, they they've used this same phrase like ten times. We under we understand the ability to gift to friends and guildmates is desired and of value many of you. We will continue to explore options that will allow us to re-enable in-game gifting 
again in the future. So essentially, they're, they're stopping RMTing. Um, that's what this equates to. Um, the Tower of the Crown store losing money. So uh, that's, I mean, it's their game. It's, it, you know, it's Sod Howard's world and we're, we're living in it. You know what I mean? So uh, this, is, uh, th this is not cool, man. Like, this is not cool, uh, in my opinion. Like, as if they don't get enough money from it. So what I would imagine what they're going to do when they say um, we will continue to explore options, I think in the next couple of months or so, maybe after Dev watches this video, they are going to develop an entirely new currency for the Elder Scrolls Online. So I think that the crowns you get with ESO Plus are now going to be like a different currency. It's going to be like its own little subcategory and you cannot actually gift items with that subcategory of uh, whatever bullshit transition you know, or whatever money. You know, what, whenever, uh, first of all, let me go off on a little bit of a tangent. When you use a median, you know, for example, you're, you're not trading dollar for dollar. Like in a crown store, you see the crown crates there, 5,500 crowns. When you use a median, like like an in-game currency, like a, 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 an, an exchange rate, like 5,500 crowns is e equivalent to $40. Why not just say it's $40? And any like, system, I, I, I don't like the fact that companies are allowed to get away with this. They, 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 they confuse the consumer and how much money they're actually spending. And there is it, it provides no benefit to the player to have quote unquote crowns when you compare just you know just just say hey this is forty dollars here it is like I understand this is extrapolated through most of the uh, you know gaming communities you know most you you don't pay you know dollar for dollar you always have like some sort of you know in game currency I I I do think that should be you know just 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 completely removed uh, against games you know across the board man it is it, just super shady. And it, it, you just take advantage of the consumer at that point. I mean, it, it provides no value to the actual people playing your game. Um, it doesn't. So why have it in the game? You know, uh, thank you all for your understanding and continued support. And so uh, this discussion has been closed. So, yeah. Um, everyone who's geotagging the whole eight of you, you know, uh, this sucks for you. Um, but yeah, we, we can't gift anymore. And again, this is just Zoss trying to milk more money out of their player base as if they did not already milk enough with the the very shady crown store and again all that money being funneled over into starfield which uh, i've heard conflicting reports on starfield by the way um it is a kind of copy pasta you don't really get to explore the planets uh, it's uh, i could go off on a whole tangent of why that game is not gonna be fun and not very immersive for single player maybe that'll be a video for another time but uh i just want to talk about this i woke up i'm about to go uh, eat some breakfast uh, we're gonna be streaming later and uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments maybe there's something I'm not seeing behind the scenes here, but this just seems like uh, they, 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 they just want more money. That's all it is. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Peace.